All right, ladies and gents, we got a busy day planned ahead today. Uh, I'm already well into it. It's 12:14 in the afternoon. I just delivered this Chevrolet Malibu, real nice uh, 2021. In about an hour and a half, I'm delivering that Tahoe, and I got to run to our Denville location real quick to pick up a Camaro for what we call a show and tell. Uh, basically, because I have five stores, we can sell uh, vehicles from any one of those stores. Now, sometimes, like in this particular case, this guy's looking to lease a Camaro. He's already in a Camaro, but he wants to make sure it's the car he truly wants. The numbers are already done. He's basically happy with the whole deal. So I'm like 98% sure we'll put this deal together, but he just wants to make sure that it's definitely the, uh, and wants to see it before he actually, you know, commits to it, which is completely understandable. We're actually driving a Equinox Premier uh, over to Denville. They're gonna take this vehicle from us. It is a 2021 and it's a, it's a Premier with adaptive cruise control. So I'm gonna show you how this works in a second once we get past this little uh, lane closure here. Basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it and it's gonna adapt to the cars in front of us. So if the vehicle in front of us slows down, we'll slow down automatically. No need to put you know your foot in the brake or anything. And as the car speeds up, it'll speed back up with us. All right, so let's get this set. Right now at the bottom of that screen, way too hard to see with sun glare, uh, we are set for 40, let's do 47 miles an hour. And it gives you a big warning that tells you the adaptive cruise control is set. This way you know the little symbol at the bottom of the screen turns green and it gives you the speed that you have it set to. Perfect example, that van just moved over and we are now slowing down. It took us down to about 40 miles an hour, 39, he's speeding back up, now we're speeding back up. As you can see, I have uh, no feet on the pedal. It's a pretty cool feature to have. Uh, I, I've never owned a car with it, so I, I don't know what it's like really other than just like I'm doing now, just driving around local roads, kind of trying it out. I've done another video about it in the Equinox Premier in the past, uh, how it worked and how to activate it and all that sort of stuff. But uh, you know, the concept is really neat. Let's see how it stops. It's stopping, it's stopping, it's stopping, it's stopping. I'm not doing anything. No feet on the pedals. I'm covering the brake because I'm nervous, but look at that. Dude, that's wild. Now, when you start to go, you can't. Oh, I should have waited a split second. The seat vibrated as I was just telling you, I can't accelerate. I think you have to tap the gas to start going again, um, but I'm not 100% sure, and I didn't give it the time it needed to, to do it. Anyway, that's adaptive cruise control. Here's another uh, slowdown situation. Car's doing its own thing, slowing down. Feet aren't on the pedals. And now it's speeding back up. I'll tell you that the braking is pretty hard. I wouldn't have waited that long to start applying brake or to sort of coast. Uh, it was accelerating towards that car pretty, uh, pretty quickly until those brakes were applied. It did slow down the time, so, you know, it's just not an issue. It's just a matter of getting used to it, I guess. Anyway, let's forget the Equinox for now, and let's get into the Camaro. What a difference. It feels so much different getting into like a Camaro versus getting into the uh, the uh, Equinox or, or Malibu or cars like that because you have such a low roof line in this car. And me being a tall guy, I gotta really bring that seat down. Even the windows, when you look, like the window height is so low. Let's get myself backed out of here. Visibility is sort of an issue in these vehicles. It's not crazy. 
but you got to take a little extra second or so of care. Make sure you see all your all your angles. Now, before we go too far, we're on low fuel. Oh, we are on low. Usually, when it's on low, where it doesn't give you a mileage, I would stop. But I think today we're just gonna go for it. The V6 sounds good, pretty loud. We're right now in touring mode. I don't know what mode the exhaust is set to. Maybe when I stop at a red light, I'll uh, check it out. Don't mind me just steering with my knee there for the split second. Settings, vehicle, drive mode, engine sound, sport. All right, we're on sport. So we have the loudest loudest tone for the exhaust, which is what we want. This, like I said, is the V6, 3.6 liter. Uh, it does have the 10 speed transmission in it, which shifts super fast, which is nice. And then of course you have the paddles on the steering wheel. So you can upshift and downshift right from the paddle. Uh, so right now, if I was to just drop a gear, we're now in six, five, four, upshift on this side, five, six, seven, eight. At this speed, about 42, 43 miles an hour, the highest gear it will go into is eight. You know, again, those uh, 10 speed transmissions uh, doing really well for fuel economy and stuff like that. Gas mileage on these V6s is 18 in the city and about 29 on the highway. You know, so to have a, you know, over 300 horsepower car getting 30 miles to the gallon, that's a beautiful thing. Takes the turns nice. I probably got a couple of comments about uh, accelerating on the car like that when it only has 18 miles on it, but we're emerging in, you know, we had to get in on the highway. You know, when we train on these cars, they basically tell people like when you're test driving a car, you know, it doesn't matter mileage, like if you want to feel the power, put your foot down, you know, like really, in my opinion, it's not going to hurt the car. It might cause us to run out of gas, but it's not going to hurt the car. Once I get back to the dealership, I'll show you the whole car and uh, we'll kind of go over the window sticker and what this one actually has in it. We are back at the dealership. Uh, I did make it to the gas station with the Camaro, so we got a full tank of gas in there now. Uh, when I got back, my Tahoe customer was basically uh, just about to walk in. So we got that Tahoe delivered. That was the white signature package uh, LT model. This Suburban is my next delivery. This is not until about 5.30. So I'm gonna go inside and eat lunch. It's about 10 after three. I didn't eat lunch yet. I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna show you the Camaro. All right, well here she is, 2021 Camaro Coupe 2LT in Riverside Blue Metallic. Has the jet black interior. We spoke earlier how it's got the 3.6 liter V6. It's got the 10 speed transmission and just really a nice, uh, nice looking car, nice looking combination. I like the uh, upgrade they did on the wheels. That looks good. What else does this vehicle have? It's an RS package. So that's giving you the 20 inch split spoke gray wheels. But again, these were upgraded to the 20 inch bright silver wheels, which is only a hundred dollar upgrade. So if you want the brighter uh, painted aluminum wheels, you go for hundred bucks, you get them. Uh, the RS also gives you the tail lamps, which are LED, the black bow tie badges on the front and back, and that deck lid mounted uh, spoiler. This has a very important option in my opinion, which is the dual mode exhaust. Now, earlier in this video, if I recorded it, I don't remember, uh, I wanted to make sure it was on sport mode, which is the loudest of the three different modes. Uh, so you can actually do that right here on the screen. You can control uh, in your settings exactly what mode you want, or you can link it to automatically uh, change with your mode select button. So as you change your mode select and you go from, uh, you know, like snow ice to touring to sport, 
it'll change the sound of that exhaust as well. This also has the tech package, which gives you infotainment three. It's an eight inch touchscreen, and it gives you very important or very cool wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. So wireless, no plugs needed. Your phone's paired for Bluetooth. When you get in, it's gonna put your phone uh, right on the screen here for like various music apps, navigation apps, you know, things like that. It's awesome. And that's pretty much it, you know? So this car started out with a MSRP of 27.5. Once you add the options and everything it has in it, you're totaled out at 35,630, uh, you know, before any discounts or, or programs you may qualify for and before tax, you know, motor vehicles, all that sort of stuff for your specific state. Uh, let's take one final look at it. And then uh, at that point, I'm gonna get back inside. I have an appointment about to come in. I have one more delivery. We're delivering that Empire Beige Metallic Suburban. So I'll get that done. And uh, today would, you know, turn out to be a, a, a pretty successful day for me, which is a, which is a good thing. Come back tomorrow, we'll do it again.